you know, people thought he fell off there towards the end of Smash 4, but he didn't. He just Yeah, no, he, he yeah, exactly. <laughs> he just did it. Just did it. I don't even know. I don't know if he even wanted to really travel that much by the end of Smash 4. Yeah. Um but you know, he's definitely got the fire for this game. He got his character back. Snake. Yeah, he did. And he's he's definitely showing it. I have to say, what really annoys me when people talk about Scat is that everybody thinks he's still a Mega Man main. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, if you lived in Georgia, you know he is actually a Snake main. Yeah. But funnily enough, when he goes out of state, pretty much most of his major wins are with Mega Man. So <laughs> I don't get it. You know, I feel like maybe it's just people don't know the matchup and there's snakes everywhere. Potentially. So, but... I, I'm with you. I, I don't get it, too. I, you, yeah. know, you see him play Mega Man and get a lot of wins, but, I yeah. mean, the snake is crisp. Yeah, nice. Like, look at that. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> beautiful combo. I love seeing it every time. Yeah. It's, like, I think Scat has, like, I think he's a top five snake right now. Um, yeah. Maybe even higher than, maybe even top three, to be honest with you. Like, snakes, like, most snakes don't do things like that. They just, like, I'm going to just Nikita at ledge. Or, yeah. like, I'm going to just, um, but, but by the way, Nikita's broken, so, I mean, I understand yeah. it. But, like, Scat is like, yo, I'm going to edge guard you. I'm going to use literally every button this character has. And I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> I did but, not see that coming. Like, I mean, yeah. And I'm with you. And I do think that, you know, maybe you see some short-term uh, setbacks to that. Because just going with Nikita for a while, especially while no one can deal with it really well yeah. until they learn to adapt, might get you more wins. Yeah. But I, I think Scat's ability to use yeah. all the options Snake has to yeah, no. practice them time and time again in major settings is yep. really going to help him out long term. Oh, no, I agree. I, uh, I've i been picking up Snake myself as a secondary, yeah. and I've definitely been watching um, Scat Snake the most as, like, the one I think – I think the way he plays Snake is, like, the future of the character. Yeah. Because it's just, like – it's it's a way that's – there's a lot of snakes that are so incredible, like really basic with their options. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna just drop a grenade right here, and then I'm gonna just camp behind it by throwing like lobbing grenades and stuff like that. If you get close to me, I'll go for like, I might like, grab you or like go for like stuff like that. But then Scat is just like, you know, I'm gonna use like all of my normal when you get close to me. So you gotta mix up your, uh, I'm gonna mix up your timing and everything. I'm gonna use these grenades and C4s in ways you haven't seen it before, and I'm gonna like, edge guard you with back airs. Like, yeah. it, it, I, I don't know. I feel like it's the way that Snake should be played at, like, the highest level. Yeah, it definitely provides more mix-up opportunities because you can always go back to that passive play of just throwing out grenades. Yeah. But as long as you're mixing it up like he is and getting in like that, you keep people on their toes, and then when you finally go back and, and need to get a little bit of a lead, you can't. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, but I don't know about this Lilat pick. Uh, I'm a firm believer that this is probably one of, this is one of Snake's best stages, Lilat. Uh, and then it's not, and it's like, oh, but speaking of best things, that ka Kaboom is probably Hero's best spell. Yeah. Uh, I, I, like I said, I haven't been able to mess with Hero much because I've been busy, but like. Oh, wow. That was really good. That was actually really wow. good. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Man, just missed facing that a little bit. Yeah, he just really wanted that C4 kill. Didn't yeah. He? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was dropping it. He was like, you will die to this. Oh. oh, man, you know, I think he could have had a harder read off that, but I don't think he expected to hit it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he did either, but, oh, what is this? All right. Oh, nice. Nice punish. Yeah, good carry there. Ah, oh, he went above the ledge. He's going to take a, yeah, he's going to lose that stock for that. I like that he didn't even go, like, forward smash or anything. He's just like, yeah, build combo. Oh, psych up. He's got it, man. Let's see what he can do here. Yeah, the next hit's gonna. Oh, that shield is almost gone. So if you have if you have oomph and psych up and you hit their shield with like back air, it's like an uh, automatic shield break. Yeah, and hero has some crazy stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Oh, he's going high. What's he gonna do? Oh, he mistimed it. Yeah, I was like, I thought Scat was gonna get that, but he but he did mistime it. Going for these setups right now, but I can see why you think that Lilat is makes the best stage. Yeah, it's the the C four provides a constant threat all the time on the stage because there are some stages where the platform is too high like battlefield for instance where right. that middle platform c4 up there is not really going to do you much good but on this stage it's a constant threat no matter where you drop it right. also the stage is dark so it's harder to see it and yeah. and uh <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah and nikita <laughs> and nikita it's like every time i see nikita man i just hold my breath yeah. I'm just like, is he going to recover or is it going to kill him? It's usually going to kill him. Killinators. But yeah. 
Well, there's Killinator. He's going to get on. Yeah, so we'll have Vendetta versus Killinator. Uh, are you familiar with Vendetta? I'm not really familiar with either of these players, to be okay. honest with you. Um, so Vendetta just moved here a couple months ago from New York. Okay. He was PR number three in what? whatever region of New York he was in. Uh, I don't remember well, that what. That can be a big difference. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I know. But, like, he has definitely proven to himself hey, since moving yeah, here that yeah. he is very, very threatening. His, I think his best win is Donye right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, but he is a Belmont slash Kin main. And he is, like, the newest person that's moved here and has been putting in absolute work. Awesome. So. He's not PR right now, but he probably he no doubt will be next season uh, when the next when this season finishes. And uh, yeah, and that's the guy on the right, Killinator on the left. I don't know a whole lot about him other than he mains Pac-Man. That's honestly all I can tell you. Secondary, secondary is what? Oh, okay. The secondary is me fighter, me brawler. You mean? Me, me brawler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah secondary is me brawler. I didn't know that. Him either. Yeah. You don't see a lot of Mies around, even though, you know, Georgia's always had Mies legal. Yeah, well, good. We don't need Mies. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I don't like Mies. Hey, but at the same time, you Where's know, fatality? people play what they want. Hey, go but, uh, That's fine. Yeah, I'll yeah play. I'm pretty sure Killinator's going to go Pac-Man. Uh, yeah. That's his usual main anyways. Um, Vendetta's Orbit. probably going to start the set with Orbit. Uh, Richter. Orbit! Uh, Orbit! Knowing the matchup. This, this will be interesting, man. I always yeah, like no. to see good Belmont play. Um, I started out trying to main the Belmonts. They're just too slow for me. I wanted to play Richter when the game came out. Yeah. But what I couldn't get over was how weird their airspeed is. Yeah, that's the thing. They don't move at all in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and it threw me off so hard. I was like, I can't do this. Yeah, that, that was me, man. Yeah, like, I play Sonic. I'm a floaty. Like, I'm used to spinning, like, moving around, drifting in the air. And Belmont's like, no. Like, we're just... Yeah, that's Lucas. Same way. Lucas is used to be, like, jumping and floating, double jump, and we're going to float here. Yeah. And PK fire. And, and Belmont's like, no. Yeah, and no. it's like, Belmont's are off stage, and they're like, yeah, we're going to draw. Yeah, we're going to draw. <laughs> like, all right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, no, nah, man, I couldn't do it. Hey, I really did. I like playing Richter for fun, but as far as anything serious, nah. I'm, I'm good on that, dog. I, uh, I did uh, to win the first ever GB redemption bracket for Ultimate. I you did spam Belmont strategies. What are you doing? Bang! Oh, you're leaving? Oh, understandable. Understandable. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Are you? Yeah. You having anything else this week? Are you going to anything else this week? Yeah. Okay. Thursday. Is there anything tomorrow? Whoa. Uh, there's Raven's Nest. But that's all I know. It's all so far from downtown Atlanta. It, yeah, it's for me. It's only 15 minutes from my house. I live in Powder Springs. Yeah. So it'll be an expensive Uber. So I doubt I get up there. Yeah. Um, and then I'll probably head home Thursday and stay home. So four four right here has been fun though. I actually haven't been yet. Really? Yeah, it's because it's an hour for me to get there. To get there. So that's why I just haven't gone. But I do want to go. I've seen that venue, like, in, like, the stream. It looks amazing. Yeah, it's – it's Fort Fort, where's, where's it at again? Is it a uh, – It's in Atlanta. Is it Axis? Or is it – No, no, no. It's, no. Not, it's not Axis. It's uh, – it, It's pretty cool, like, like that. Like, yeah, no, it's – yeah, it's it's a very eSports. Like, it has, like, all the setups are, like, head-to-head -head from what I saw. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So, it's uh, – Yeah, I haven't been. I mean, everything's an hour from my house minimum, so. Yeah, uh, fair, fair enough. Yeah. So – um, Yo, until I moved to Georgia, I didn't have tournaments that were – I was like that, too. I didn't have any tournaments that weren't, like, an hour from where I lived yeah. until I moved to Georgia. Then I was like, oh, there's a venue 15 minutes from me. And I was like, what? Yep. You mean tell me I could just get out of my – I can leave, like – I don't have to leave, like, two hours in advance to get to where I want to go? Let's to, go. I don't have to calculate $20 of gas money into <laughs> – <laughs> Yeah, 